Yeah. All right, all right, guys. HG Muscle Athlete here at Martin Fitzwater. It's Tuesday of Peak Week. I'm hitting my last leg training session here, so it's not a crazy heavy session. We're not getting any breakdown. I'm just trying to pump some nutrients around, really knock some water off of my body, and just try to acclimate to the Texas weather, as well as, like I said, get these nutrients pumping. So my training partner, Brett, he's gonna get a session in later where he actually gets muscle breakdown worth his time, but he's gonna push me through my session, make sure that I'm working really hard, but not overdoing things. Uh, this is a time when it's easy for me to overdo things, so it kinda he's here to pull back on the reins, make sure that we're doing the necessary, but also getting ready for the show and not having inflammation, those type of things going into stage. With this, like I said, no muscle breakdown. We're doing both quads and hamstrings. Um, it's just to bring out these final details. Like I said, knock some water off. And uh, really it's just having fun and enjoying the process now at this point. So I coached myself all the way through this prep and uh, Brett's just kind of been my second eye here. So it's been a lot of fun learning my body, learning what works best. We know that about the how many days inflammation takes to clear off of my body and how well my body looks after a couple days of inflammation clearing. So we knew that Tuesday would be our best day to have our last leg day with no muscle breakdown. Um, it worked for Brett on his Chicago Pro Prep and uh, we're just trying to kind of mimic things as we go into this, try to shock the world just like Brett did. Starting out, we just did some leg extensions, um, going back and forth between quad and hamstring today. Like I said, just kind of getting the whole leg pumped up. So I did some extensions, very similar here. Uh, kind of worked up to a weight that felt comfortable, but not too heavy. And then we went and did a little bit of a drop set there. So um, very similar to here again, like I said, pumping the nutrients around, pumping the water around. Um, peak week, you know, we're loading food, we're loading water. So all of those things, are really trying to work on pumping in all that into the muscle right now, getting it happy. Then we'll work on drying out later on in the week. Um, the biggest things right now is keeping my water intake high, especially through the training session. Um, I'm hyper excreting, so I'm peeing a lot. So you'll see me run off to the bathroom a bunch, but that's just part of peak week. So all these things are just kind of part of the process and it's all just how things work this last week. Things are different and you just play it by ear and roll with the punches. Next, we're gonna go into a leg press. Uh, it's gonna be a hamstring oriented leg press. Again, stretching the muscle here, really working on getting these nutrients in there. So stretching really helps push blood into a muscle and hold it there. So that's gonna be pushing the nutrients in and holding them there so I soak them up, um, get a good pump here and just kind of keep moving through these leg stretches. This is extremely weird for us right now because usually if it's leg day, we're bashing each other's brains in. So it's just constantly destroying each other. So, so I gotta remember this is for a purpose today. We slow everything down. That's why I'm not even training because I know if I was going with him right now, I'd try to, he'd want to push it because he'd see me going. So that's why I'm sitting out right now. I'll do my work later and we're gonna just make sure he's getting all the detail in and be his best on Saturday. So let's keep doing it. Like you said, pulling back the rain. That's the hardest part for us. Um, we both got into bodybuilding because we love training, not because we like to be naked on stage. So uh, this is the fun part, and the rest of it's just kind of a reward of the hard work, but um, you know, you gotta do the necessary things to make sure that we're perfect on Saturday.
So, so one thing I'm a, one thing I really want to say about Martin is that nobody loves bodybuilding as much as Martin does. I'm just gonna start it right there. Like, you know, it's it's very hard to describe that. You know, you see somebody that truly has found their purpose in life, and then they pursue that at such a young age. You know. Me, I was somebody that had to go through ups and downs, you know, figure out who I was, figure out what I wanted to do. And then, you know, I found out what I did. And part of it was, you know, teaming up with Martin. He, he, you know, he, seeing his love for the sport, seeing him going all into something and having that support system behind me helped me go all in these last two years. And now we're seeing what that production has been, you know, of us training together, of us buying in together completely. And now, you know, we're the up and comers and we're the people that, you know, we're the guys that everyone's kind of looking at as the next generation of bodybuilding. So I, you know, I want to, I want to thank him for that, of course, and then, you know, just preach to you guys that like, you need, you need to find a passion, and then you need to pursue that passion with all you got, you know. So Martin is the perfect example of, you know, a full-on passion for something, and 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 like he is, he is dedicated to giving it 100% day in and day out, which people are not willing to do. You know, he goes to depths that people are not willing to do for something he loves. And you know, this can be anything in life I'm talking about, but right now we're talking about what we do and what he loves, and that's bodybuilding. And so I'm really excited, you know, this is just the beginning of many years, many titles, many trophies, many fun things to come. And um, you know, I'm fortunate enough to be part of this process, a big part of this process, and I will always be a part of the process. And it's just gonna be, you know, good times rolling from here on out. This is kind of a fun one. Um, I don't know if we put this on the YouTube channel for you guys yet at HD, so. This is one of our favorite intensifiers. Like I said, I can't get a lot of muscle breakdown, but we still want to make it fun. So we still like to do the hard shit that's kind of tough. So these are called one and a halves. I'm going to do a full rep on the hack squat. Then I'm going to come from the bottom. Actually, I'm going to go from the bottom to halfway. Then I'm going to go back down to the bottom and do a full rep. That's one. So these are really tough. It's a lot of time under tension and it's a whole lot of fun. Just really bash these legs up. <laughs> Last leg day is a wrap. Yeah, it was short. How many yeah. minutes was that? Um, it was probably about like an hour and 15, hour and 30. Oh. We did three quad exercises, three hamstring exercises, and some adductors. Um, like I said, just pumping blood in there. Uh, really just making sure that we knock off the inflammation off my legs, pump the nutrients in there, and get a good sweat. As you can see, I'm still sweating here. so. That was really the main purpose of today. And uh, then we know that the nutrients are pumped in there and come Saturday, they'll stay full and uh, keep all the detail as well as drop some of the inflammation so that we get the best product in my legs that way. Um, it's something that Brett and I paid a lot of attention throughout prep on when inflammation clears our legs, when they look best and when they're most detailed. And um, we implemented that into our peak week. So it's just something that we've, kept track of all the little details and trying to make sure that we pinpoint them and nail them here at the end. What's your post-workout meal? Do you have it with you? Uh, no. Uh, I'll be doing cod. Um, so I switched to all fish at the end. Um, so I do all white fish for my protein source. So I'll be doing seven ounces of cod post-workout with some asparagus to help me push off water. Um, and then I'll be doing Pride Foods cream of rice um, with some nut butter as my carbs and fats post-workout here um, just trickling in some nutrients I have most of the nutrients I need for the day um, just slowly trickling in this last little bit 
and keeping digestion and everything on point as we go into tomorrow. Are you gonna head back now to the Airbnb? Yep. Yeah, and yeah. Brett's staying to train. Yeah, so Brett's about to train. I'm gonna go back to the Airbnb, I'm gonna eat, probably nap, um, and then I'll probably come back and get these guys. So, um, let them train hard. Like I said, he needs the muscle breakdown. He's in grow mode, and uh, I do not get to grow today. This week is not my week to grow. It's my week to be diligent and follow the plan as I'm supposed to. Um, so like I said, Brett was there to pull the reins back, make sure that I didn't do anything too extreme or too heavy, and also just to make sure that uh, I'm doing the necessary things but not overdoing it. Uh, that was me coaching myself this year. That was one of the best things is having Brett there to kind of keep the reins on me and also when to tell me, hey, maybe it's time to step on the gas. So, um, you know, I don't recommend that a lot of people can prep themselves, but I think if you know what you're doing, you can do it if you have somebody in your corner like Brett, uh, like myself, where um, when you need somebody to lean on, you have somebody to lean on. Uh, how many more meals do you have today? Um, so I'll have my post-workout meal and then I'll have two more meals after that. Those aren't set yet. Um, I'll eat this post-workout, I'll take a nap, and when I get back, I'll take some pictures after the nap, look at myself, look at, have Brett look at those as well, and then we'll evaluate for the rest of the day. So everything at this point is uh, play it by ear, uh, play it by pictures, I guess you could say, yeah. but um, nothing is really set in stone. Uh, except for how much water I have to drink today. So besides that, it's kind of just play things as my body responds and uh, just have fun with it. So With the time difference, it's a little different. So back home, it's an hour earlier. Um, so it's a little bit of a time crunch now for me. It feels weird. So usually going to bed here about midnight. Uh, at home, it's usually closer to like 10 or 11, mm -hmm. uh, but just trying to get used to the time change and things. We've slowly started to dial that back as we've got here and acclimated. Um, and so last night I went to bed a little bit earlier, got up a little bit earlier this morning and really trying to get that into the groove as we get, just try to get things back to how it was uh, back home in Denver. So. Um, just kind of try to keep things as normal as possible. Like I said, even training, we try to keep the movements exactly the same. It's just less muscle breakdown. So. How often are you posing? Um, so this morning I came in and posed for probably about 45 minutes. And then we're posing between meals to see how my body responds to the food. Um, as well as tonight, I'll probably work on my routine some too. So there's a lot of posing going on. I don't really have a, a numbers or minutes. Uh, we cut cardio about two weeks ago. Um, I did very minimal cardio this whole prep. I think the most I ever did was three by 20. Um, so with that, we knew that posing and my training is where I'm gonna burn my fat. Um, and so we took that into consideration and made sure that those were implemented um, at the fullest, as well as my training intensity was 100% all the time. Um, you know, with Brett and I training together, we don't really have to worry about that. So we know we're burning fat in those areas. Um, and cardio is something that we're using for health purposes, not really fat burning purposes. I feel like it's counterproductive that way. So um, we want to burn fat in the training session, build muscle and not worry about ever losing muscle. So that's why we try to keep cardio minimal and try to do these other things like posing and training intensely to burn the fat instead. Um, so I, I am, the only thing that I'm using right now from HD still up to this point, um, I cut all powders and stuff like that here at the end um, just because of dyes and a little bit of artificial. I know we use mostly natural sweeteners, uh, but even the little bit could cause the possibility of holding some water and we kind of want to leave no stones on turn. So I'm not doing any powders. That being said though, um, the health series has been probably the most beneficial thing for me in uh, working with HD and I'm still taking them up all the way to the show. So I'm taking Vita HD three times a day um, with three different meals. I'm taking the kidney three times a day, the liver three times a day, and then I'm also taking the sleep before bed. So those are the HD supplements that I'm still using right now, the health series. Um, and those have all been beneficial for my blood work as well as my body feel and sleep really, really helped uh, improve at the end here when usually my sleep takes a big hit. So those are the things I'm using now and I would say that the things, those were a big, big benefit in my prep as well as 
I'm in love with the ISO as well as the Carb HD. And uh, my food is unbelievably high most of my prep as well as my off season. And I feel like those two things were something that I was able to utilize and keep stomach volume down, but be able to have high calories and high quality meals um, without, like I said, stuffing myself to the point of which I had to bloat or something like that, keeping my waist really tight. Um, and I think that's really beneficial and we'll be able to see that on stage this weekend. This is good, guys. Shake a little bit more. Top set coming up, that means we gotta get the hoodie back on. Awesome.